have uh, Reverend Philip Hui bringing us today's message titled The Fiery Trials of Life, Part 2. In Good morning. Let us bow forward a prayer. Father, we thank you once again for it is your grace that allows us to come into your presence. Father, we pray that your spirit will move amongst us. Lord, move, soften our hearts. That we will receive your word. That your word will pierce into our hearts that we will draw closer to you. Father, for we come to worship you as our God. Our Lord, our Creator, the one who made us for a purpose that we can live life to give you glory. Father, help us to walk closer and closer to you each day. May your words today speak to our hearts. That as we continue to strive to live holy and righteous, that your spirit will guide us. Open our hearts to see what you are doing in our lives. That even in the midst of our suffering and pain, that you are at work. We thank you for you are the one that is making us holy. Open our eyes to see your grace. Open our ears to hear your words. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We've been studying uh, 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 12 to 19. And we'll continue on from last sermon. Uh, Peter is saying that for Christians, suffering should not be a strange thing. It's an expected reality. And therefore, Christians need to prepare their hearts and their minds to face the fiery trials of life. My last sermon, we saw that this, this passage, uh, that suffering is part of God's design. So there are four points. We went through two of them last time. We went through God's purpose in suffering. And God's presence in suffering. And then we're going to go through God's principles in suffering. And then God's providence in suffering. So just let me summarize a little. God has a purpose in the suffering that we face. That as God's beloved children, these trials are not meant to destroy us. Trials come so that we can grow in our faith. It's a process of making us holy. It is through this testing that is going through this crucible of sanctification. God is making us more and more the image of Christ. So fiery trials are part of God's design to grow us, to strengthen us, and to mature our faith. It's like burning away those impurities, that the breaking away 
burning away complacency in our lives. 就係將一啲有瑕疵嘅嘢，將我哋嘅自滿嚟到去燒毀。And the purpose is to produce the fruits of the spirit in our hearts. 而至喺我哋嘅心裏邊會結出屬靈嘅果子。To have humility, patience, love, character, and hope. 讓我哋有謙卑，讓我哋有忍耐，讓我哋有老練，讓我哋有盼望。So we are to remember to set our minds on the love of Christ as we face suffering. So, when we face suffering, we should set our minds on the love of Christ as we face suffering. Because suffering is purposeful. 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 Our suffering gives evidence to our union with Christ. It's in our suffering that we follow in Christ's footsteps. Because Christ faced the ultimate suffering for us. Because suffering was becoming a man. Suffering to be persecuted and ultimately unjustly crucified on the cross. All for the sake of loving us. To give us grace, to give us forgiveness of sins. And we share as partners in suffering as we follow in Christ's footsteps in suffering. And we know that Jesus knows our pain. Jesus is the one that is with us In our suffering, because in our suffering, Jesus is with us. You know, this is the joy that fills the depths of our hearts. That we're walking with Christ. We are with Christ. Moment by moment, even in the midst of our suffering. Every time, every minute, even in the midst of suffering. So this, this is the blessed reality as we suffer. It shows forth our union with Christ. So this is the. 蒙福嘅，因为就算喺苦难里边，神与我哋，基督与我哋同。And if we suffer with Christ, we know that we shall also be lifted up in glory with Him. 当我哋与基督嘅受苦有份嘅时候，同样我哋亦都会喺荣耀里边。That He becomes our living hope. 耶稣就成为我哋活泼嘅盼望。And it is when we walk through these fiery trials, our relationship to God deepens and grows. 当我哋经过呢啲火一般嘅试炼嘅时候，我哋与神嘅关系亦都成为更加嘅亲密。And it is usually during these deepest times that our our hearts are 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 softened, our pride is broken. 就喺呢啲难处里边。That all our self-sufficiency is taken away. And this is the tearing down of the walls that we built up in our hearts. 就係咁樣去除去喺我哋心裏邊所建立咗嘅圍牆。And that process is painful. 冇錯，呢個個過程係痛苦嘅。But only then, after that. Will we truly cling on to Christ? Because there's no other hope. Faith becomes real. And the truth of the gospel of who Christ is becomes very tangible and genuine. And this gospel, who Christ is, becomes very tangible. So our relationship to Christ deepens and grows. Our relationship with 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 Christ deepens and grows. With the presence of the Holy Spirit, it's the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, that rests upon us in our suffering. 
And that is his promise that he will always be with us and never forsake us. That was last week. Now, today we come to our third point. We're talking about God's principle in suffering. Now, Peter, when Peter's talking about suffering, he's mainly talking about fiery trials that uh, we, we, the persecution that we face being witnesses for Christ. Because in reality, that's what happened in the first century for Christians. You know, it wasn't that comfortable for them to be a Christian. Because if you claim to be a Christian in the first century, you were persecuted, you were killed. They died for their faith. You know, but suffering for Christ also applies to various trials we face in life. Trials that we face as we walk in obedience and righteousness in living for Christ. Suffering for doing what is right before God's eyes. And what Peter is telling us in verse 15 is that not all suffering a Christian faces is righteous suffering. Not all suffering Christians face is righteous suffering, suffering for Christ. And sometimes it's because of our own sin and our own actions. Verse 15 says, But let none of you suffer as a murderer or a thief or an evildoer or a meddler. Murderer, a thief, and an evil doer, that, those are very clear. You're, you're, you're sinning. And when you sin, you can't claim that you are suffering for Christ. Right. And, and when you're suffering, you're suffering the consequences of your sin. And Jesus, and Jesus' name is actually suffering because of our sin. Now, Christians can commit grievous sins. But sins do not define your life. Do they, they, not, they don't define who you are. Right, you don't have to go very far from the Bible to see that. You know, Paul himself, who wrote most of the New Testament, Paul himself was a murderer. Who persecuted Christians because before his conversion? Great men that are used by God, such as Moses, was a murderer. King David was an adulterer and murderer. Yet all these men were greatly used by God. So when we sin, we either go in two directions. It's only two roads. It's either repentance or faith. faith or there's unrepentance. And, unre and unrepentant heart is defiant and even celebrates in their sin. Now, 
去去慶祝嘅。You know, we Christians aren't defined by our sin. We need to turn and repent from sin. 一個基督徒唔係被罪嚟到判斷斷定你嘅。Because 我哋係需要認罪悔改，離開罪。Because the heart, our hearts as a Christian, has been changed by God. Because you don't celebrate in sin, you know what sin is. You celebrate in God's grace. You celebrate in God's grace. 知罪嘅人，佢就會認罪悔改去處理罪。You know, many times Christians are actually a lot of times called hypocrites. 好多時基督徒被稱為偽君子。Has anybody ever called you a hypocrite? 有冇人稱你為偽君子啊 ？No,、oh, yeah, I, I, I sure have. 有啊，我都有。And it's true. 但係係真嘅喎。It's true. 係真嘅。You know, because we know what we should do. 我哋知道我哋應該做啲乜嘢。But we don't always do it. 但係我哋唔一定會做咗佢。And that is the definition of a hypocrite. 呢個就係偽君子嘅定義啦。And that is true of everyone. 但係其實我哋每一個人都係咁。Everyone knows what they should do. 每一個人都知道佢哋應該做乜嘢。But they don't do it. 但係佢哋做唔到。Because we're human. 因為我哋係人啊嘛。And no one is perfect. 因為我哋冇一個人係完全嘅。Except for one. You know the biggest difference between a Christian and a non-Christian. 一個信徒同一個不信徒最大嘅分別係咩咧 ？Is that the blood of Christ covers over the Christian? 就係一個信徒有主耶穌基督嘅血遮蓋佢哋。They are forgiven. 佢哋係被赦罪嘅。So suffering for doing what is wrong is not suffering for Christ. 如果你嘅苦難係因為你係做咗啲不對嘅事，呢、这個唔係為咗基督受苦。Christians are if we're suffering for for things that we're doing wrong, go to Christ. 如果我哋嘅苦難係因為我哋做錯事嘅，我哋應該去跑去耶穌基督。Confess your sins. 我哋要認罪。To receive forgiveness and be restored in your relationship to God. 讓我哋罪得赦免，以致我哋同神嘅關係得以回復。And it is in that grace that God comes and restores you. 就係憑住呢個嘅恩典，神嚟到你嗰度，使你回復。And yes, you still suffer the consequences of your sin. 冇錯，你罪嘅結果，你仲要喺嗰度嚟到受苦。But then you can walk righteously for Christ. 但係你能夠企起嚟，為著基督行上呢條義路。Those first three examples of sin are very clear. 頭嗰三個罪嘅例子係好清楚嘅。But the fourth one is actually very interesting. 但係第四個咧就好有趣啦。Let none of you suffer as a meddler. 佢話唔喺你哋當中唔好有人受苦係因為你係做一個好管閒事嘅人。It seems out of place here. 係咪好似唔係好拉更 ？What is Paul saying? What is he? What is he talking about? 保羅究竟係彼得？究竟喺呢度講咩咧 ？Meddler in the Greek is actually a very long word。誒，好管閒事呢個字咧，喺原文希臘文咧係一個好長嘅字嚟嘅。Ala rep ep is kapos。就係咁啦。I don't even think I said it right <笑>。But what it means is it's a busybody。意思即係咩咧？一個呢一個諸事八卦嘅人。It points to a troublemaker, a complainer. 意思就係咩？一個找人麻煩嘅，一個抱怨嘅人。You know, someone who likes to point out other people's faults. 一個中意指責人嘅。A person who doesn't always know to back off or overlook offenses. 一個唔識一個唔識殺制嘅人，唔識自控嘅，一個唔能夠輕看冒犯嘅。And even in petty matters. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that we avoid talking about sin. 但係呢個唔代表話我哋逃避唔講罪呢個問題。That is what Christians are called to do. 其實基督徒係要處理罪嘅。To help each other turn from sin, to walk in faith and righteousness. 要彼此幫助轉離罪，行上義呢條道。But we're not to help each other like meddlers. 但係我哋彼此幫助緊時候，唔係好似一個好管閒事嘅人咁樣。Middlers act self-righteously. 
，一个好管闲事嘅人，佢嘅佢系一个自我为善嘅人。You know, we're not called to go around to pester people. 我哋唔係要同人去爭辯啲乜嘢。You know, because a meddler is an agitator who makes kind of makes everyone uncomfortable. 因為一個好管閒事嘅人會使人不安，使人唔舒服。And everybody avoids them when possible. 個個人見到佢咧都想避開佢。Because sometimes they only see their way is the right way only. 因為咧呢啲人咧淨係覺得佢自己嘅諗法先至係啱嘅。You know. If you're vocal about your faith, 如果你要同人分享你嘅信仰 ，but if you act like a meddler， 但系你嘅行为就好似一个好管闲事嘅人 ，you give people the wrong impression about what being a Christian is all about。你就会俾人有一对基督徒有一个错误嘅印象。Peter saying here is that that meddlers who suffer rejection or persecution are not suffering for Christ. 彼得話：如果你係一個好管閒事嘅人，而你係喺要經歷苦難咧，你唔唔係為著耶穌經歷苦難。They too are suffering the consequences of their actions。佢哋只不過係因為自己行動嘅後果所帶嚟嘅苦難。You know, there's a very fine line between meddling and ministering. Meddling and ministering. 乜嘢係好管閒事？同去服侍別人咧，嗰條界線咧係好有嘅。A lot of that, a lot of that has to do with the heart. 主要係個心嘅問題。Meddling brings division and strife. 好管閒事咧，會帶嚟紛爭嘅。Ministering brings grace. 但係如果係服侍別人咧，帶嚟嘅係恩典。Forgiveness. 帶嚟嘅係赦免。Restore relationships between God and man and man and man. 去回復。人同神嘅關係，同人同人嘅關係，亦都將榮耀帶翻俾神。亦都將榮耀帶翻俾神。Ministering is done in a manner of love, grace, and patience. 去服侍別人咧，係憑住恩典、愛心、忍耐行出嚟嘅。Because ministry never forgets God is sovereign. 因為當你去服侍別人嘅時候，你會切記心中。神係有主權嘅。He is the one that changes hearts。係神去改變人心。It's not my job。唔係我嘅工作。So when we suffer afflictions, injustice, and rejection。當我哋去面對痛苦、面對不公平、面對被人拒絕、面對苦待 ，We need to ask ourselves。我哋要。Am I suffering unjustly for doing what is right before God's eyes? 我嘅苦难系咪因着我做紧喺神眼中正确嘅事情咧 ？Or am I suffering deservedly for what is wrong in God's eyes? For doing what is wrong. 因为我嘅苦难系因为系我应得嘅，因为我做咗啲喺神眼光看为不正确嘅事。If you find out it's the consequences of sin. 如果你發現呢一個係罪嘅後果 ，turn repent， 你就要轉離罪，你要， forgiveness. 你要認罪悔改，接受赦免。But if we're suffering as a Christian, it it says here it's an honor. It honors God. It glorifies God. 呢度講，如果我哋作為一個基督徒而面對苦難嘅，呢、这個係一個榮幸，呢、这、一個係對。將榮耀歸俾神。Suffering for your stand for Christ, living righteously。去為著基督嘅緣故，你站立起嚟，過一個正直嘅生活。That gives honor to God。呢一個係榮耀神。You know, suffering may not be directly related to being persecuted for your bold witness。或者呢一個嘅苦難未必係直接與你大膽嘅去見證神。But it is a bold witness。但係呢一個係一個大膽嘅見證。When you bear suffering joyfully in the name of Christ， 當你孭起耶穌嘅名而有喜樂嘅去面對苦難。Now, I'm sure you know our sister Shelly. She's been a, she was in our church for over 20 years。好多人都認識 Shelly 姊妹，佢喺我哋嘅教會有多過二十年嘅時間。You know, some of you really she was here that long？ 或者你都話真係佢有同我哋二十年咁多？ You know, she was a woman who was quiet and gentle in spirit. 佢係一個好安靜，但係係滿有誒
平安嘅一個姊妹。Yet a woman full of joy and gentleness. 亦都係一個滿有温柔喜樂嘅姊妹。A steady, constant servant in the church. 佢喺教會係一個忠心嘅僕人。Always willing and ready to give a helping hand. 佢隨時作好準備。And she was very observant. She was also a very observant person. You know, she was she was the one that when I in the late latter days of my mom after my father died, Shelley was the one that would every every Sunday come and walk my mother down to go eat dinner, lunch. Come, when many times, my mom in the late years, many times, on Sunday morning, the prayer was she would bring my mother down to go eat dinner, lunch. Come, when many times, my mom in the late latter days, Because、uh, we, you know, I was busy doing things, and there was not not always somebody to take care of her, and and she would just quietly and go walk down with my mom. Shelly 就系安安静静嘅嚟帮助我妈妈。And that is the way that she quietly and gently served God. 佢就系安静嘅，静静地去侍奉神。And then when God took her home, when you know God gave God, she got cancer. 但係後來佢都有癌症，係因為癌症佢離世。But even in her latter days, we we saw that inner peace and joy that she had in in her facing her suffering. 但係當佢喺同癌症掙扎嘅末期嘅時候，我哋亦都去見證到佢有主內嘅平安同喜樂。She had the courage to face it. 佢亦都有呢一個嘅勇氣去面對。The assurance to know where she is going。佢好肯定嘅知道佢去邊度。It was in the midst of that suffering she she cared for others even before herself。就算係佢喺呢個苦難裏邊，佢都仲係關顧其他嘅人。You know, even in the midst of suffering, she cared for her parents。就算喺佢嘅苦難裏邊。佢仲關心佢嘅父母。To be a witness for their, their, for her unbelieving parents。喺佢不信嘅父母生命裏邊去見證住。Before she passed away, she didn't want to leave all her stuff for them to have to clean up。喺佢離世之前，佢唔想剩下佢自己嘅遺物，讓佢父母去處理。So they asked some, some of us from church to go help her to clean out all her stuff。佢就叫我哋主內嘅弟兄姊妹去幫佢手去清理曬。And even in her condition, she would think about others before. Herself. 就算佢喺咁嘅境況，佢都仲係諗住別人。And when we're there, it says, "Oh, you're you're here too long. Go home. Your children need you." 就算我哋去幫佢嘅時候，佢都話：你翻屋企啊！你個細路仔需要你啦。It's in that midst of suffering she shows forth that love of Christ. 就係喺呢啲苦難裏邊，佢仲係彰顯緊基督嘅愛。And she is able to be that bold witness for Christ. 佢就能夠為基督成為呢一個。You know, her joy was reading and hear, reading and hearing God's word. And her 嘅喜乐系咩？就系当听到读圣经同唱诗。And hearing him sung. 同佢听同佢一齐嘅唱。We need to keep on rejoicing when we face suffering. 当我哋喺苦难里边，我哋要有呢一份嘅喜乐。Show that Jesus is the greatest source of our joy. 让人见到我哋喜乐嘅源头就系耶稣。To show the world that nothing compares. 亦都让呢个世界睇到冇一样嘢能够与耶稣比较。Finally, God's divine providence in suffering. 最后就系喺苦难之中，神嘅护理。Now, one of the foundational premises of our reformed faith. 喺改革神学嘅根基。Is that God is sovereign? 就係神係有主權嘅。And that He's in control of all things. 就係佢掌管一切。And that that is our one of the basis of the foundations of our reformed faith. 呢個就係改革神學嘅根基。You know, but when trials come, 當試煉嚟到。You know, sometimes we 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 question God's sovereign sovereign sovereignty and His providence. 有時我哋會去疑惑神嘅主權同神嘅護理。Maybe it doesn't seem always so fair or to be all wise。好似神唔係時常都係咁有智慧，或者係咁公平。And we we question is God really in control？ 我哋去疑惑神係咪真係掌管嘅咧 ？But Peter is telling us here。但係彼得喺呢度同我哋講。This is reality。呢一個係事實。That it is exactly。God's providence that certain sufferings and trials come into our lives. 
就係因為神嘅主權，所以有某一種嘅試煉，某一種嘅苦難會嚟到我哋嘅生命裏邊。Verse nineteen says, therefore, let those who suffer according to God's will entrust their souls to a faithful Creator while doing good. 第十九節話：所以那照神旨意受苦的人，要一心為善，將自己靈魂交與那信實的造化主。You know, it's painful to hear that that it's God's will that we face certain sufferings in life。好似聽起上嚟好困難嘅，聽起上嚟話係神嘅旨意，讓我哋喺生命裏邊要經歷苦難。But it is the crucible of our sanctification. 但係呢一個就係使我哋成聖嘅火爐。And we need to embrace that. 我哋需要嘅去擁抱呢樣嘢。We need to know that God is loving and good. 我哋要認識到神係美善嘅，神係愛。You know, we need to sometimes people. We need to see how God shows forth His His goodness and love in the midst of our suffering. 我哋要睇到，就算喺我哋苦难之中，神点样去彰显佢嘅美善同佢嘅爱。Verse seventeen says， 第十七节咁样讲 ，that for the time of judgment has begun， 因为时候到了 ，and it begins with the household of God。首先系从属神嘅家开始。And、what is Peter talking about here？ 究竟彼得喺度讲紧乜嘢咧 ？You know。We're at the end times. 我哋已经到末世啦。All right, after Jesus died on the cross, we are in the end times. 当耶稣喺十字架受死嘅时候，我哋已经去到末世。Our God's judgment has begun. 神嘅审判已经嚟到。And what it what it talks about here, the household of God, that that that's that's the church. 呢度讲到神嘅家即系教会。And judgment has begun for the church. 即係話審判已經係嚟到教會嗰度啦。It's begun in our hearts。已經喺我哋嘅心裏邊開始咗。There was not judgment to condemn us。呢一個嘅審判唔係要定我哋嘅罪。But it's judgment to purify us, to sanctify us。呢個嘅審判係要使我哋成聖，要淨化我哋。First Corinthians eleven thirty two says, but when we are judged by God, we are disciplined so that we may not be condemned. Along with the world, First Corinthians. First Corinthians eleven thirty two. 佢誒哥林多前書第十一章第三十二節咁樣講：我們受審的時候，乃是被主懲治，免得我們和世人一同定罪。So The idea is that judgment is a discipline of God for us. 呢度話呢一個嘅審判其實就係對基督徒一個嘅懲治。And Hebrews 12 reminds us that God is exercising His discipline upon His children now. 希伯來書都講到神現在就係管理緊佢嘅兒女。He tempers us for our holiness. 去為著我哋嘅誠心嚟到管教我哋。You know, for example, if we see our children playing in the playground， 例如如果我哋見到我哋嘅小孩子喺公園玩 ，you know, and they're causing trouble， 咁如果佢哋找麻煩 ，you know, what do we do？ 我哋會點啊 ？Being good parents, we'll pull them aside, give them a time out, and talk to them。做一個好嘅父母，我哋就要拉埋佢一邊，同佢訓話，然之後管教佢。This, this is grace。呢個就係恩典啊！ And exactly the same, God's discipline is in our lives is His grace. 同樣嘅，神喺我哋身上嘅懲治管教係佢嘅恩典。Why? 點解 ？So that we do not be condemned along with the world. 以致我哋唔會與呢個世界一同被定罪。To chase away the sin that is within us. 神要將我哋裏邊嘅罪趕出去。And God's Is has begun to sanctify his people. 神已经开始咗使佢嘅子民成圣。You know, and what it says in this passage, he will exercise his damnation for the lost at the end. 喺呢度讲到最后，佢会去审判呢啲失丧嘅人。But now, 但系现在 ，God is disciplining us for our holiness. 神系为着我哋成圣而到惩治。You know, we're living in that season of judgment. 我哋已经系喺审判嘅季节里边。The wrath of God has been revealed. It's unfolding. 神嘅憤怒已經彰顯，現在係被表露。Now the question is， 個問題係 ，Are our hearts really separating from this world？ 我哋嘅心係咪已經喺呢個世界分別出嚟咧 ？Do we see the work of the Holy Spirit at work in our lives？ 喺我哋嘅生命裏邊，我哋睇唔睇到聖靈嘅工作咧 s h 
shedding of sin hurts. 我哋要除去罪咧，系会有痛楚嘅。Crucifying the flesh is not something that we do. 我哋要将我哋嘅肉身致死咧。唔係憑住自己嘅力量去做。It is the work of the spirit within us。乃係喺我哋裏邊嘅聖靈而做嘅。Let me repeat that。讓我再講多次。Crucifying the flesh is not something that we do。要致死我哋嘅肉體，唔係我哋做得到。Sanctification is the work of God in us。成聖嘅過程係神喺我哋裏邊嘅工作。And suffering is one of the instruments of sanctification that God uses in our lives. 神就要藉著苦難呢一個嘅器皿，去幫助我哋經過成聖呢一個嘅過程。You know, because if there was a different way， 如果有別嘅方法 ，Jesus would not have had to suffer and die for our sins。耶穌就唔需要去面對苦難，為著我哋嘅罪而死。Suffering for Jesus' sake. 我哋为着耶稣嚟到经历苦难。Is a sign that we are united to Christ. 就就系去引证我哋与基督联合。And it is painful. 系冇错，有痛苦嘅。Acts fourteen twenty two. It 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 reminds us. It says, "Through many tribulations, we will enter the kingdom of God." 使徒行传第十四章二十二节咁样讲：我们进入神的国。必須經歷許多困難。And we remember those words that Jesus cried out at the cross。我哋亦都去記起耶穌喺十字架上邊佢呼喊嘅。His greatest suffering, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me？ 當佢面對最大嘅苦楚，佢話：我的神，我的神，為什麼離棄我 ？What did he face？ 佢面對嘅係乜嘢 ？He faced hell。佢面對地府。Separation from God。佢面對與神隔絕，為著我哋嘅緣故。And that is hell for him。呢個對於耶穌嚟講 ，Jesus suffered was much deeper than ours。耶穌嘅苦難比我哋嘅更加深刻。And if he rose from that depth， 但係基督喺呢一個嘅深處再一次站起嚟 ，He will also lift us up as well。同時，耶穌亦都會使我哋站立。You know we don't love the suffering。我哋唔會喜歡苦難。But we love what God does in it。但係我哋喜愛嘅係我哋嘅上帝。We don't love the suffering。我哋唔喜愛苦難。But the suffering should make us love God more。但係苦難應該使我哋更加愛神。Look at the cross and see Him because He cares for you。我哋要仰慕於十架，因為神眷顧我哋。The saying is I heard from a pastor: the suffering in life, our suffering in life. As a Christian, 有一個牧師曾經咁樣講到，作為基督徒喺呢個生命所經歷嘅苦難 ，is the worst of hell that we will experience。就係去喺呢個作為基督徒喺世上嘅苦難，就好似經歷地府最差嘅境況。But it only lasts for a moment。但係呢個只不過係暫短嘅。Paul says in Second Corinthians four. Seventeen. For this slight and momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. 保罗喺哥林多后书四章十七节咁讲：我们这自暂自轻的苦楚，要为我们成就极重无比永远的荣耀。That those who suffer according to God's will entrust their souls to the faithful Creator. While doing good. 第十九节，所以那照神旨意受苦的人，要一心为善，将自己灵魂交予那信实的造化之主。We need to place active trust in God. 我哋要将我哋嘅信心信靠，等喺神嗰度。God, who is that faithful Creator? 就系神呢一个。忠實嘅創造者。He is the one that made you。係佢創造你。And he made you for a purpose。佢係有一個目的嘅去創造。And、he made you for his glory。係為著佢嘅榮耀去創造。His goodness and his love is displayed in his faithful providence。佢嘅美善，佢嘅愛就係喺佢嘅護理裏邊彰顯。I'm not going to talk about all the things he's blessed you with。我唔會同你講佢祝福咗你所
一樣一樣一樣嘅嘢。But there's only one blessing that is the greatest is Christ。但係最大嘅祝福就係主耶穌基督。It says providence in Christ and through Christ。佢嘅護理就係通過基督，藉著基督。And on account of Christ， 亦都係因著基督。No matter what suffering you go through， 無論你面對咩苦難都好。He has promised always to protect you and to keep you。佢嘅應許永遠係要去保護你、保守你。It doesn't mean that you know we can bear all our suffering。唔代表話我哋可以自己孭起所有嘅苦難。It's only when we can't bear it that we turn to Christ。係唯有我哋孭唔起，我哋先至會轉向基督啊。And when we turn to Christ, Christ gives us assurance nothing can ever separate us from His love. 而當我哋轉向基督嘅時候，神喺羅馬書第八章就俾咗我哋啲去，冇一樣事情，冇一樣嘢能使我哋與基督嘅愛隔絕。And it says in Second Corinthians one and Galatians four, the Holy Spirit is poured out into our hearts as a pledge, a guarantee. 喺哥林多後書亦都係加拉太第一章嘅講，佢話神嘅聖靈就係我哋嘅引證。That we are children of God。我哋係神嘅兒女。We are heirs to His eternal kingdom。我哋係去永恆國度嘅後嗣。It is God who gives us faith and grows our faith. Ephesians two。以弗所書第二章就係講到，係神將信心賜過俾我哋。亦都係神使我哋嘅信心成長。Faith is trusting in what we don't see。信心係相信未見之事嘅實底。You know, faith isn't about keeping us from suffering。信心唔係話要幫助我哋去避免呢啲苦難。That that's the wrong faith that we have in Christ. When we think we become a Christian, we don't we don't want suffering. We don't face suffering。如果我哋喺基督裏邊有呢個咁嘅信咧，我哋係信錯咗啦。唔係有呢個信而知我哋避免苦難。Faith is God keeping us in faith。信心係神保守我哋喺信心裏。In the midst of suffering。當我哋係喺苦難當中。Now that's the purpose of suffering is to drive us to Christ。一苦難當中嘅目的就係要讓我哋跑向基督。Cling to Christ。He sent his one and only Son to bring grace and redemption and peace. 神將佢獨一嘅兒子差派過俾我哋，讓我哋得著呢一個嘅平安。And we need to bring the wonderful news of Jesus Christ to the people around us. 而同時，我哋亦都要將主耶穌基督呢個好消息帶過俾我哋周圍嘅人。Because when you think about it, 你試想下 ，If God would treat Christians this way. 如果神會咁樣嘅去處理基督徒 ，You know if if this is what we face as believers， 如果我哋一作為信徒，我哋要面對嘅 ，This is what seventeen is saying. What happens to the unbelievers？ 第十七節就係問我哋咁唔信嘅人嘅結局會係點咧 ？If God deals with the ones He loves with this type of judgment, suffering for righteousness， 如果神都要一個不一個信徒要經歷苦難 ，What will happen to the ungodly？ 咁呢啲不敬虔嘅人又會點咧 ？This is the second part of that phrase I I talked about before. For the believer, for the unbeliever, sorry. 呢啲不信嘅人 ，this life, this life on earth is the best that they will ever experience. For the unbeliever, 對於不信嘅人。This life is the best that they will ever experience. 在世嘅生命就係佢哋一生之中最好嘅經歷。And the worst is yet to come. 因為更加壞嘅係嚟緊啦。And that is God's eternal judgment. 呢個就係神永恆嘅審判。Eternal fiery hell. 永恆嘅地獄之火。And that is why God calls us. 所以神喺佢呼召佢嘅門徒，呼召所有嘅基督徒，去呼召佢嘅門徒，呼召所有嘅基督徒，去呼召佢嘅門徒，呼召所有嘅基督徒，去呼召佢嘅門徒，呼召所有嘅基督徒，去呼召佢嘅門徒，呼召所有嘅基督徒，去呼召佢嘅門徒，呼召所有嘅基督徒，去呼召佢嘅門徒，呼召所有嘅基督徒，去呼召佢嘅門徒，呼召所有嘅基督徒，去呼召佢嘅門徒，呼召所有嘅基督徒，去呼召佢嘅門徒，呼召所有嘅基督徒，去呼召佢嘅門徒，呼召所有嘅基督徒，去呼召佢嘅門徒，呼召所有嘅基督徒，去呼召佢嘅門徒，呼召所有嘅基督徒，去呼召佢嘅門徒，呼召所有嘅基督徒，去呼召佢嘅門徒，呼召所有嘅基督徒，去呼召佢嘅門徒，呼召所有嘅基督徒，去呼召佢嘅門徒，呼召所有嘅基督徒，去呼召佢嘅門徒，呼召所有嘅基督徒，去呼召佢 The twelve disciples, many of them were fishermen, many of them were uneducated. They were all fishermen, many of them were uneducated. They were all fishermen, many of them were uneducated. They were all fishermen, many of them were uneducated. They were all fishermen, many of them were uneducated. They were all fishermen, many of them were uneducated. They were all fishermen, many of them were uneducated. They were all fishermen, many of them were uneducated. They were all fishermen, many of them were uneducated. They were all fishermen, many of them were uneducated. They were all fishermen, many of them were uneducated. They
And that great thing included being martyred for their faith in Christ. The question is, will we walk faithfully to proclaim Christ? Even if we face suffering for Jesus' sake. Will Jesus be glorified in your life? Let us pray. Father, we pray for your spirit to dwell in us richly that you will use your words to open our eyes to see life through your eyes to have a world view, the understanding of the world that comes from your perspective. Turn us away from our myop, from focusing upon ourself and seeing things from our own perspective. That the world does not revolve around me. But you are the one in control. Father, in, in the midst of our lives, we know that you call us to be holy and righteous. We know that you bring about things in our lives that we don't understand. That we can't control. That are painful and hard to bear. Father, fill us with your spirit. Strengthen us. So that we can walk faithfully in you. To show forth the joy of your salvation that you are in the midst of the crucible. This fiery furnace that is sanctifying my heart. Because you're there, I will not be burned up. You are the one that will protect me. You are the one that is purifying me. Molding me and making me more and more in the image of Christ. Father, give me a heart that seeks after you. A heart that understands your holiness. Your righteousness. And that it is your burning judgment that is making me holy. Father, move us away from this complacency. Sometimes we're so satisfied with just being saved. But, oh Lord, that we know that it's only the beginning. You are making us holy. And in the midst of that holiness, you've called us to be your faithful ambassadors. To bring forth the gospel, the love of Christ to those around us. Because we experience this pain of suffering. It does not compare to the eternal suffering that they face. Give us that urgency to share this gospel to our loved ones, to our family, to our friends. To our classmates, to our co-workers. For there's nothing more important than their salvation. Father, help us that in the midst of our sufferings to keep you in focus. 
专注于你。In Jesus' name we pray. 奉耶稣嘅名字祈求。Amen. Amen. Let's all rise.